Let's uh, copy an image off the internet. Right click copy and then go to Photoshop. If you go File New, Photoshop is smart. It automatically knows how large your image is. Assuming that you have a decent computer, see that little circle? It means that I have a very laggy computer. One day, one day I'll get a better computer. Click on, um, let's choose a transparent background in Photoshop and choose OK. So this is where you can actually go edit paste or control V. So we have a transparent background behind here but how do you clean out areas of similar color? The color white is uh, quite uh, different from the, the brown so we'll use the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool looks like a little wand with um, a nice um, uh, let's try to find where that is. Okay so here it's either the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool look for something that looks like a magic wand or you can press W click on the white area and usually the setting is pretty good the default setting of tolerance setting is 32 that's fine it, it, it usually works then press delete so this is where we actually have the Goomba working properly now so let me press control alt Z if you have problems with the way that the magic wand tool is working perhaps it's selecting too much or too too little you might want to play with this tolerance number but for now I'm satisfied. I'm going to press delete. Then I'm going to go file, uh, save for web. And when you save a picture for, for web, you have only a few choices. I recommend PNG24 as opposed to GIF or JPEG. PNG24 is, is higher quality, although it might be a little bit larger in terms of file size. Click on save. So I'm saving this Goomba to my desktop. This is only for learning purposes. We're not going to actually use this for a game because this is not our picture. So we saved it to our desktop as a Goomba. And now when you go into Flash, for you to create a new uh, Flash file, File New. Um, okay, so we'll just use this. If I were to change the stage color to black, so you can really see what's happening here, go File, Import, Import to Stage. Oh, look at that. We have a little pop-up here. I should probably trim this out on the video. But file import Goomba. And there it is. We actually have a Goomba that um, has transparency. So if you have some other pictures behind it, it's now very nice and clean. And you can use this as your animation for educational purposes. Wonderful. Now you know how to actually get some transparent images into your Flash animations.